So this is the mini fruit machine that a friend and I designed and built some years ago now and I'm going to show you how it works and take the back off and show you uh, how, how the parts are made up. So it's based on the uh, 5p coin and this was mainly because we wanted to have no reject mechanisms in the machine which would make it unduly complex so we stuck to the 5p because it was the smallest coin. So switch the machine on, we got the jackpot displayed just because we couldn't think of anything else then the lead sequence comes on just as a sort of flashing to entice you to play and then we put our coin in, let it drop and play. The reels slow down and you can hear the click slowing down as well so that sort of simulates the reels being mechanical and there's a win so it should pay out 10 p there it goes and uh, the coins come down the slide and sometimes pop out which makes it all the more sort of interesting. Right so now let's take the back off and have a look and see how it works. Turn it off, turn it round and you can see it's held on with six screws which I've just removed so here's the inside. At the top you have the coin mechanism which just detects that a coin has gone through and it's roughly the right size. This tube collects the five P's. This servo drives the um, mechanism backwards and forwards to release the five pences which then slide down this 45 degree chute. The pizza that makes the clicks is here and the main circuit board is covered in a piece of cardboard to stop any shorting in case any of the five P's come into this sort of area and the batteries at the bottom, six volts, four AA's. Right, let's uh, take it apart. Um, first we take the baffle out here which is uh, just that the coins slide down onto and it gives the machine extra strength. That's all that is. Uh, then we've got the coin mechanism itself. I've actually detached the main part of the coin mechanism from the top part so it just comes out like that. Uh, so that comes off and unplugs. Okay so next you've got the uh, main coin mechanism or coin dispenser and this is uh, on a sort of tray uh, which fits in this little slot here. So we pull that out and disconnect it from the main circuit board. So this is essentially just the tube with the five pences and the servo and then underneath you've got um, the hole that the five P's drop out of and sandwiched in between the servo just pulls another slider through with the actual coins in it so that they drop from the slider which is offset from the hole that it drops from. Now the next thing is the uh, printed circuit board itself with all the main electronics on it. Um, I can't take this one out but in all good tradition here's one I prepared earlier so that is essentially that way round and uh, the front side which pops through all the holes in the front has the main three displays the eight LEDs, the hold buttons, the start button and the pick would sit here, uh, a 16C57. Right, I'll now put it back together again and see whether it works. So first the coin mechanism itself, take out any loose five pences, connect it to the circuit board, slide it back in the slot. Um, there's a little cut out here for the wires so they don't trap in the back cover. Put the baffle back in, coin mechanism back in. Put that around the bolt at the top there and plug that in. Bit tricky, there we go. And then finally Put the back on, 
and let's see whether it works. Turn it on, both pants, there we go, no problem. No win this time though. So that's it.